Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the main crux of my video, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First, I want to express my appreciation to everybody who's contributed to paid subscribership over the last month and a half and who have provided one-time donations to me. You all have brought in over a thousand dollars, which has meant a lot to me given that I lost most of my clients last month due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And these donations have really really motivated me to change how I spend my time. And so what I'm doing now is refocusing my efforts on my political writing. If you go to my website at siever.ca slash Kim, you'll find that I've been publishing quite a few more articles than normal. In fact, starting this week, I've been writing one news story every day, focusing specifically on current events, more particularly Alberta politics. And so if you like the work that I'm doing here on my YouTube channel, I think you'll also like the work that I'm I'm doing on my website, especially if you are interested in provincial politics here in Alberta. I'll continue to provide general political content here on my YouTube channel, but if you want political content that's more current and more timely, please come over to my website at siever.ca slash Kim, and I look forward to talking to you there. Now into my video. The key to successfully colonizing a land is to dehumanize the people who were already inhabiting the land. If you call indigenous people uncivilized, then it's easier to justify sending in the religions of your own society, which you claim is civilized. If you call indigenous people savage, then it's easier to justify replacing their concept of communal stewardship of land and resources and replace it with private property rights. If you call indigenous people wild or untamed, then it's easier to justify enslaving them as unpaid labor for your capitalist profit-making enterprises. If you call indigenous people exotic, then it's easier to justify stealing their icons, their clothing, and other artifacts to display in your museums for the entertainment of your own people. Dehumanizing indigenous people allows you to dismiss addiction as lack of self-control instead of self-medicating to cope with the trauma inflicted upon them and the generations before them by settlers. Likewise, it allows you to dismiss all their health issues as drug or alcohol related. Dehumanizing indigenous people allows you to dismiss their parenting customs as unfit, justifying you in removing their children from them and, and placing them in residential schools or in the homes of white foster families. Dehumanizing indigenous people allows you to dismiss their indigeneity as suspect, justifying you in not renting to them, not hiring them, and following them in stores. Dehumanizing indigenous people allows you to dismiss their indigeneity as criminal, justifying you in carting them at a higher rate, arresting them at a higher rate, convicting them at a higher rate, and imprisoning them at a higher rate, while also handing them harsher sentences and later reincarcerating them. Dehumanizing others allows allows you to justify your prejudices and racism towards them. After all, you can't be racist if what you're saying is just facts. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at siever.ca slash Kim. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Medium. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon.